what is Kaspersky's view on upcoming threats that forward-thinking IT security teams need to be considering now? Uh, the IT world is being changed very quick, and unfortunately, the IT threats are following this uh, these changes. Uh, and uh, all the time, the IT security teams they have something to think about. And uh, the major the major changes are uh, the fact that there are more and more mobile devices in the pockets, on the tables, everywhere. And cyber criminals already started to pay quite a lot of attention uh, to this uh, to this opportunity. For them, it's opportunity. And uh, the statistic is uh, by, uh, quite negative. Uh, before last year, we collected just about just a little bit more than 1,000 different malicious uh, samples for mobile phones. Within eight years, the first, uh, the first smartphone virus was found in 2004. Within eight years, we found just about 1,000 of malicious code. Now, worms, trojans, etc., etc., for mobile phones, for smartphones. Within December, we collected about 1,200. So just one, within just one month, we collected more than within all the previous period of time. It, seem, it means that uh, cyber criminals are getting more and more active with their smartphones, and this is a headache for antivirus companies because it's not just to process and uh, add detection for the new malware. Uh, we also have to pay a lot of attention for the system resource usage because uh, smartphones, they have a battery, and the battery is not big. So it's uh, what's uh, okay with notebooks, with computers, which are half the time, all the time or quite often connected to the electric network <laughs> they have power smartphones are uh, their battery life uh, time is a it's a critical issue so this is one of the important uh, problems and questions to the IT security companies how to deliver their high level protection and at the same time do not consume battery power it's a first question second uh, they Enterprise security, their business uh, IT security, uh, protection their business networks. Uh, it's uh, getting more complicated tasks because of the direct attacks, targeted attacks. Uh, when uh, criminals, or maybe not just criminals, maybe other powers, maybe secret services, or maybe competitors, they are watching for your secrets, uh, secrets of the business or of their industrial companies, or watching for the secrets of government or military secrets. And uh, this uh, is a very, very high demand on the new technologies how to protect these systems. Uh, and uh, it's not just uh, uh, traditional anti-malware technologies, but also the new uh, technologies like data leak leakage prevention systems, uh, whitelist, uh, access control, etc., etc. It's also a very, very serious question to IT security companies. But at the same time, at the same time, uh, it's an opportunity for the for the fastest and the most smart IT security companies. Uh, then there are more and more DDoS attacks, distributed attacks on the networks or on their or the some services or web pages. And uh, unfortunately, we still can guarantee 100% protection or even close to 100% protection. It's also opportunity for the IT security companies to develop the technologies to recognize attacks and to stop the attacks. And actually, we are working on this. And next question, very serious question, is how to protect industrial systems. Unfortunately, many of them, they were designed decades ago, and they have a quite uh, old computer systems there, but they're very vulnerable. Uh, it's a very good question, and uh, it's a, I think it's a very good reason to maybe to talk uh, for, for security companies to talk to industrial organizations. Uh, to find a solution how to protect our critical critical element of our national and global infrastructure. Why does Kaspersky Lab think virtualization is an important area for business to consider for a, from a, a security perspective? Uh, virtualization and cloud services, of course, it's a very obvious uh, solutions for their new world, their world which processes so much data. Uh, I don't know how many terabytes or uh, pentabytes are processed a day everywhere around the globe. It's a huge amount of information. And of course, there is a very good idea to optimize that, uh, to allocate some uh, procedures, some data in the cloud, to give it to the professional 
people who, who are more professional with uh, outsourcing the uh, these uh, computing uh, computing uh, resources, and at the same time uh, to build the virtual systems in your environment to optimize your resources, to optimize the load on your computers, and uh, to save the electricity. <laughs> So it's quite obvious, but at the same time, there are questions of the security, how, how secure the systems are, uh, how secure the cloud is, is uh, the cloud which you use. Uh, and in this case, I think that's a question to the company which provides the service. They have to be responsible for the security. Uh, in case of the virtual machines uh, which you use on your servers, uh, of course, it's uh, very important to guarantee that these virtual machines are protected, but at the same time, there's a demand on the security solution not to consume too much resources, to optimize security solution for the virtual machines. Uh, I think, uh, well, actually, the security companies are working with uh, these questions and uh, this, uh, these technologies, and uh, we just released our new solution for the virtual machines to optimize, our, uh, to optimize the load on the system resources. Kaspersky's campaign is be ready for what's next. Why has Kaspersky done this campaign? Because we have many ideas, we have new technologies, we have new messages, and I guarantee that we will have more and more news, uh, and you will like this news. So please, be ready for what's next. <laughs>